All right, Pops, here is the deal. Yeah. In 2022, you should not be buying a car. Stop buying cars.com. We own that. Pretty funny picture of my dad. But if you need to buy a car, yes. here, here are the 10 you should absolutely avoid. At any cost. This comes by way of hotcars.com. The editorial staff at hotcars.com produced this. Let's see what they had to say. Number 10 on the list, <clears throat> the yeah. all-new 2022 Toyota, you say the name. Mirai. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so why does um, uh, why does Hot Cars say it's a, a top 10 card not to buy this year? Why? Technology that's too far ahead of its time is yes. what they say. It might be so far ahead of its time that nobody ever bothers to try to catch up to it. The U.S., this is, quote, the U.S. currently has less than 100 publicly accessible hydrogen refueling stations. Okay. So you for can drive your Mirai. Yeah. Yeah. For a country of 340 million people, that doesn't sound like a lot. And last time I checked, the amount of investment in hydrogen uh, cars is a lot less than EV cars. And the infrastructure for EV vehicles isn't all the way there. Yes. Definitely a, a good point about the Mirai. I guess if you're in California, you have, you know, a yeah, case they pro- My guess is in California, they probably have 10% of the nation's at least 10% of the nation's hydrogen uh, refueling stations. Number nine on the list, the yeah. Tesla Model Y. All right, now the Why? reason the reason that um, yeah. Hot Cars has this on the list is, quote, body integrity issues, climate systems, and in-car electronics, and the lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, I would say the reason not to buy a Tesla Model Y this year is because the price, you missed the boat. Like, the price is, just in this past week of the time we're filming this, yes. uh, MSRP on Model Ys have gone up twice. You missed the boat. The cheap Tesla days are over. They're they're raising their prices. I'd say that's probably the reason uh, why. Yeah, I, I I don't know that I'd stay away from a car because you can't get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And and they're saying in the article that Nitsa has flagged safety issues. Every vehicle gets flagged <laughs> flag with safety, safety issues. issues. Yes. If you're like me and you need to know about EVs, tune into our new show on YAA Electric, plugged in Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Number eight on the list. Yes. The Maserati Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli. The Giblets. It could be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, charisma aside, the Ghibli fails to gel as a desirable package that delivers fully on its promise of sporty elegance. It's expensive, Dad. MSRP can get all the way up to over $115,000. Plus, I don't think it gets great fuel efficiency. Not only is it expensive, hmm. But it doesn't have the world's most up-to-date technology uh, either. The only reason to get a Maserati would be because you can't afford a Ford Ferrari, Ferrari, but you yeah. want a Ferrari engine. The yes, only that reason. would be the only reason. Now, number seven on the list, yeah. the Lexus GX. This yes. is kind of interesting because Lexus no longer has – or I'm thinking about the Toyota Land Cruiser. This yes. is the, the Lexus equivalent. Let's see. They say it has outdated styling, which I think is BS. That's a yeah. great-looking SUV. Yeah, absolutely, if you want a big, uh, big ass SUV. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Um, and they're saying it, you can hardly justify the $55,000 price tag. And Fifty-five thousand dollars seems uh, relatively cheap in today's world. I feel world. like they probably made a typo on that. These yeah. GXs are probably like eighty or ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> I would think. I'd buy the GX. Yeah. Number six on the list. Yeah. The Mitsubishi Mirage. G four. How could this end up on the list? I don't know. Well, because because they're not much of a car, but they're they're not. Priced like they're supposed to be much of a car. The Mirage G4, quote, has a grossly underpowered and noisy three-cylinder engine that struggles to put out 78 horsepower, but it gets you 37 miles to the gallon. Yeah, around town. Yeah. I don't know, hot car, if I agree with that. Yeah. One. Number five, the Subaru Ascent, Dad. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they say the Ascent offers impressive all-around performance, in addition to slick power delivery, smooth ride, and a functional interior that have made it an endear- made it endearing to SUV enthusiasts. Yeah. The turbocharged Ford cylinder is more satisfying and zippier than the numbers on paper suggest, but it has a slight disadvantage in a segment dominated by V6s. Come on, where's the reason why not to get it? Yeah, come on. We're waiting, waiting for that. Uh, Subaru is widely considered a reliable brand, but its largest three-row SUV throws a bit of mud on this reputation. Problems with the power equipment, transmission brakes, in-car electronics, and Climate system plagued the ascent. Explain the predicted reliability rating of one out of five and an overall reliability score of 18 out of 100. It's news to me. That's news to me, too. Yeah. All right, hot car. You're not, yeah. you're not, mm. all right, number four on the list. Yes. The Ford Echo Sport. Yeah. Didn't they discontinue this? Uh, if they haven't, maybe they should have. I don't know. You taking but, a Chevy Trax or a Ford Echo Sport? Well, I don't know. I think in today's world with the, uh, with the rising gas prices, if they, if they were thinking about discontinuing, 
this vehicle, they, they bring should it stop thinking about it. They should just keep it. I guess the Bronco Sport would be kind of like the equivalent and the one that you would yeah. get instead. Number three on their list of cars to avoid in 2022, dead, the Chrysler 300. Yeah, that hasn't changed, what, in 15 years? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably been on the list for all 15 years. You're not a huge fan of Chrysler products. Um, no, I, I mean, am not. Yeah. Yeah. Quality issues. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've been known to have them. Number two on the list, the Ford yeah. Explorer. Yeah. Let's see why the heck they give this a uh, number two out of ten. Yeah. Um, however, according to Consumer Reports, the 2022 iteration has several red flags worth noting. The Explorer offers a stiff-edged ride and has shown problems with the clunky transmission, noisy engine, power equipment, interior electronics, and outside paint. It pretty much sounds like a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth mentioning here that the Explorer, yeah. uh, just like other Ford products, is not getting all of the microchips it needs. So beware, new 2022 Fords may not have all of the features and equipment yes you would think now number one on the list Dan, yes a car yeah. that i know you hate driving uh well because you're not in control the mercedes-benz gle yeah the number one vehicle that they say is not worth buying in 2022 the gle has experienced 11 recalls is that all? in recent years plus yes. you can't really drive the thing well i don't know to go back up for a second because it says the gle offers the ride comfort everyone expects from mercedes-benz no, it doesn't. I, 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 you expect some feedback from a car, from a Mercedes Benz when you're driving it, and that car offers none. It, it, you feel like it's controlling you, and you're not controlling it. No, definitely. Yeah. So for that reason alone, I'd say sure it's number one. But yeah. the bigger reason they say is all the different recalls. Now. I don't know if I love this list. This list seems fine, but I think one thing I'd be interested in, maybe let us know in the comments down below if you'd like this. I know IC Cars has done some research in yes. the past on the vehicles that have appreciated the most. Like that would be my top 10 list yes. for vehicles not to buy in 2022. Or gas guzzlers. Just yes. put all the gas guzzlers on the screen. Yes. Any parting shots or thoughts about the list, Dad? Um, I, I want to thank uh, Simon Kim, I think his name was, that wrote the article. I was uh, bless his heart for being able to put together such a uh, fine and worthy uh, effort. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>